All right, guys. So it looks like we got some really amazing news on our hands. It seems that Dragon Ball Legends is technically speaking extending the 6th year anniversary and calling it the 6th year anniversary after party event schedule. They laid out here a ton of great new events coming to the game for the rest of July and technically speaking a little bit of August as well which we'll break down in today's video. Now this is amazing. This is a smart business move on their end and uh, this is a way to keep people still engaged. We're all expecting the anniversary to be done with tomorrow night and we were all expecting a dry period and that doesn't seem to be the case. As a matter of fact, it seems to be far from the case. So let's break down this roadmap here, guys. I'm recording this video a little bit late, but this really got me excited, okay? So let's see what they have in store for us, okay? So the first thing up here says after party rockin' login bonus. So, you know, who doesn't like a login bonus? This is pretty cool to see. Probably some crystals up for grabs, maybe an LFZ power around the mixed around there, hopefully speaking. Some slot removers and good and good stuff like that, right? Um, the next thing here is Rising Rush score event. So, you know what I think this is going to be? I think this is going to be very similar to the uh, the worldwide challenge missions to see how much, uh, what's the highest score we can reach with Rising Rushes as a collective group, and then we're going to get rewarded for that. So, you know, I actually really like these types of stuff, like the collective group things. I, I don't know what it is about it, guys. I just really like it. it. Makes everybody kind of, you know, joining together to reach one common goal. So, love to see that. Now, the next thing is the after party special tower event. Okay, and we're going to get to some juicy stuff here, guys. So we've seen this once before, and it happened for the fifth year anniversary, which was the anniversary tower. And then here for collecting or for reaching the top, you get a thousand chrono crystals. This is phenomenal. Who doesn't want a thousand chrono crystals? And from what I recall, this is not time gated. So you could just straight up beat this in one day and get a thousand. Actually, technically speaking, a little bit more than a thousand. So this was the event right here. There was a multitude of stages, as you guys can see. You know, they just keep on going on. And the reason why I say a little bit more than a thousand is because we get these challenges in between. And it goes all the way to the last stage. So a ton of, I don't know how many stages this is, over 10 for sure, right? But it doesn't matter. A thousand crystals up for grabs sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so that's amazing already. And like I said, this is going to run through the 17th, as you guys can see here, the roadmap. Technically speaking, I do the roadmaps here on the channel if you guys follow me. And by the way, if you guys do want to keep getting updated here 24-7, everything Dragon Ball Legends, just simply like and subscribe. It's currently, what, 11 p.m.? I'm about to go to sleep. I'm like, nah, I'm going to record for my subscribers for sure. And this is going to run through August 2nd, which we'll get to that in just one bit as well because this is a key date. Um, and then here, this is where it gets juicy, guys. Ultra thanks. Question mark, question mark, question mark, event. Ultra thanks. Okay. A few things to note here, okay, guys? So there's a little bit of a release date here. I don't know if this is kind of like the release date or maybe just because the cloud's in the way, so they have to kind of push this. If this is the release date, it would be on the 22nd, which we'll talk about the dates in just one bit, but ultra thanks, question mark, question mark, event. Now, we've seen this twice before, okay? We've seen this right before we got LF, um, LF Goku and Bardock from Games Original. They had an event where, where it said question mark, question mark, question mark. And the other event we got similar to this was the free-to-play Bulma we just got, which was question marks, right, event. But what's different about this is that it says ultra thanks event. Okay, so this can mean four things. I want to rule out one thing right away, and we have three possibilities. The first thing I want to rule out is that we are not, you, I'll bet my house on this, guys. So you could come back to this video, I guarantee you. We will not be getting another ultra character this month, okay? That's something we can rule out, right? That's four things. We, we just ruled out one. Now, the next three things are very good possibilities, okay? So one thing is a free-to-play ultra. There's a very possible chance we could get a free-to-play ultra. That's not out of the realm of possibilities. Now, it's been a very long time since that happened. We've only gone three free-to-play ultra characters um, in existence, which was the Super Saiyan Goku, the Scout of Vegeta, and then, of course, the Omega Shenron, which just got the Platinum equipment, the first ever Platinum equipment, which leads me to my next thing, guys, which is a possible platinum equipment. 
okay an ultra character could be possibly getting a platinum equipment and we'll talk about which ultra that could be if that is the case and the last case scenario here is something we've never seen before which is free ultra z power this could be a possibility once again we don't know what it is i i don't know uh, most likely this is going to be a free to play character because of the question mark question mark question mark event and if it is a free to play character you guys already know let me just pull out my roadmap here for you guys uh, we should be getting a free-to-play character probably here on the 31st, I would say, at the end of July. So, maybe that event is going to come out in two weeks from now, because right now it's going to be the 17th. So, maybe not this week or the 24th, maybe it's going to be here on the 31st. Because, if you guys did not know, we typically get a free-to-play character at the very... Depending on when the weekly reset drops, which in this case is right here, literally on the 31st. Technically speaking, on the first is when we would get the free-to-play character. So this is an exception here, guys. Um, and by the way, we're going to get a maintenance tonight, okay? So the maintenance we're going to get tonight is going to be summons, okay? PvP because they are uh, pretty much going to disable the 6th anniversary medals. And TOP, which is going to get reset. I made a video this morning for you guys on everything we can expect, right? So we're going to get that. And another thing here is special missions, Okay, special missions. Everybody loves to see special missions. More crystals up for grabs. Maybe some LF, Legends Limited Multi Z Power. That's really nice to see. And then the last thing here is the high difficulty event. Now, this could be a new thing because they did come out with a newsletter a few weeks ago saying that we are going to be getting a brand new high difficulty PVE event mode of some sort. So we could be seeing that as well, including an extra special Monday here. So it looks like they're kind of technically going to extend the Marvelous Monday, even though they said it was the last one. They're just going to label it something else. It does say Special Monday here, uh, though, guys, so that is pretty exciting. And another thing here to the cloud to the left is plus tons more events. Check the in-game news for details. There's nothing in the in-game news, but down the line there will be. And leaks comes out tomorrow, guys, or technically speaking tonight. So have those notifications on. You guys already know I'm going to be on top of absolutely everything here on the channel. So yeah, I love these roadmaps. I typically do these roadmaps, guys. You guys already know I do these kinds of roadmaps here. Uh, but yeah, love to see this. Absolutely love to see this. Um, once again, this Ultra Thanks event is probably a free-to-play character. Perhaps maybe a Ultra free-to-play character. Perhaps maybe a, pla a new Platinum equipment for an Ultra character. Or perhaps maybe some Ultra Z power, which is very far-fetched which i don't think is going to happen so it's either an ultra free-to-play character or just a free-to-play character in general or it's going to be a brand new platinum equipment which would be kind of weird because we literally just got one right now right um and in terms of ultras i mean the platinum equipment you could toss i it, it's gonna sound like i i know okay i know characters need it more than ultra hit but i would love to see this character back in action i just love his time skip so much and of course, we do got the free to play, you know, uh, Ultra Scout of Vegeta, and then the uh, free to play, um, of course, Super Saiyan Goku as well. Kyle Ken Goku would be pretty nice to see, but we already have a God Key um, Yellow right now with Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. So, yeah, guys, comment down below. What do you guys think about all this? This is pretty hype, in my opinion, man. I absolutely love to see uh, Dragon Ball Legends keeping the momentum going. And you guys already know I'm going to keep the momentum going here on the channel. I plan on going way stronger here leading up towards the Legends Festival. I know this is the first mention of the Legends Festival here on the channel. But you guys already know I'm going to go hard here on the channel as always. And I'm probably going to be going live a lot more. I have plans for this channel, guys. So make sure you guys simply just like, subscribe, have those notifications on. And I'll make sure to keep you guys updated here 24-7. Everything Dragon Ball Legends. With that being said, hopefully you guys have a blessed night. Have a good one. Peace.